Today's video is about a way to earn passive income using your unused internet bandwidth through an AI related crypto called Grass. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what exactly the Grass network is and how to set it up on your computer. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice. This is solely intended for educational purposes. Now let's get into it. To start, what in the world is Grass and how does it relate to AI and how does it relate to crypto? Well, in a nutshell, a high level, Grass is a network of decentralized nodes and basically it allows you to sell your unused internet to AI companies who then use that internet to scrape the web and, and collect data and train their models. And basically as a result, in return for lending out your internet, you get paid and then through the network, AI companies are able to train their models in a decentralized way. And this is really interesting to me because first off, it already has 700,000 users, which is a lot, right? 700,000, almost a million people will probably be over a million people at some point soon. Second, it's actually solving some very real problems and it's using some interesting technologies, namely crypto and AI to do it. And this is a crypto channel, right? So I love real world applications that incorporate crypto in some way and to go in a little deeper to what exactly they're doing this is a diagram from their documents you can think of where they sit in ai like this there's all the data on the internet and then you have these ai models that are going to be trained based on the data however that data has to be in some form scraped uh, processed made readable by the data and that's basically where grass sits in so it sits in in that middle data layer to get the web data ready for AI models to train. And you might think, well, why do they need to do that? Why, why don't these companies just buy some GPUs, rent out server space and, and do this themselves? And the answer is that many companies are doing that, but there's actually some core important problems that Grass is solving. Here in the Grass documents, they highlight some of the reasons why a decentralized network is actually ideal to perform these services. Many of the largest websites in the world right now also have private centralized AI entities. You can think of, for example, a company like Google, a company like, like Microsoft and the many different, different um, sub entities that they own. These companies all have their own AI divisions. Facebook is another one. And so as a result, they have an interest in preventing smaller competitors for gaining a foothold. And so because of that, they often make it very difficult for AI labs to actually scrape their data. Now you can look at one example they have here is that Reddit made the uh, their API exorbitantly expensive, basically making it impossible for a lot of AI companies to scrape it. And then they have attempts to stop people from scraping it themselves. But what happens if you have a decentralized network? Well, usually the way that they stop people from scraping it is they'll block the IP addresses of known data centers it's much more difficult to block 700,000 IP addresses, right? And on top of that, it's much less likely to throw up a red flag because rather than having one data center that's scraping the website, you have hundreds of thousands of people whose internet is being used to basically scrape small parts of the website. And so because of that, Grass can actually allow these smaller AI companies to, to scrape information, collect data for their models, in a way that's tougher to stop or censor by these large entities. And then the next question you were probably thinking of is how exactly does crypto fit into all of this? And the answer is that it's actually quite difficult to bootstrap a decentralized network because you have some phase in there where you have to convince people to run these decentralized nodes. And we'll talk about what it means to run Grass in a second. It's actually really easy. It's just installing a browser extension but you have to convince people to do that. But you might not have enough customers to pay them very much yet. And so that's where crypto comes in. Crypto basically is ideal for solving these chicken and egg problems because what you can do is you can set up the decentralized network and you can say, you're gonna get revenue that comes in for your share, but you're also gonna get these network tokens. And because people want the network tokens because they can sell them right away, then they'll actually set up nodes and start building the network before you have that revenue coming in. And you can think of it, that's basically how almost every 
every decentralized network is set up in some way, right? There was uh, the time when people were mining Bitcoin 10, 15 years ago. And the reason they were doing that was, well, 15 years ago, it was very, very few people mining it. But 10 years ago, people were doing it because they were getting new Bitcoin emissions, which would help to bootstrap that network of miners. And so that's what Grass is in a nutshell. I think it's a pretty cool project. Uh, personally, I did install it. And so now I'm going to show you how to do that. To start, I'll drop a link down in the description. This is a referral link, although I don't have any other affiliation with them, but it is a referral link. So if you enjoy this video, please consider clicking it. And uh, this is the page you'll be brought to to sign up. And basically you make an account like you would on virtually any other website. You'll have to choose an email, username, password. You can generate a username. Uh, that's what I did, right? It just combine some random words together. And then once you do that, it'll bring you to a dashboard that looks something like this, except yours will have a zero here. And this is basically a dashboard to track all of the devices that you are farming grass on. And then the thing that I'll note here is that right now, these grass points that you're earning are not yet transferable. They're not yet redeemable for anything that's actually equivalent to cash. Basically, the way this network works now is it's still very new. So you're just going to accumulate these points. And then eventually those points will have some conversion to a token, which you'll be able to sell. But in the meantime, you just have these points. And, and, and I think that, again, I think that this token is actually going to be one that will be worth something. I mean, I don't know how much it's going to be. But, but I think it's actually going to be worth something because this relates to AI and because it relates to decentralized physical infrastructure, which are two of the biggest narratives in, in crypto right now. But you're going to get this dashboard and to start, you won't actually be earning anything. To start earning, you'll have to go to the Grass extension on the Chrome store. You can find that over here on the Grass website. It says download Grass. I would encourage you to go there. It's going to bring you to this Chrome extension. And then once you add it to Chrome or Brave, whatever browser you're using, then you'll be prompted to log in. And once you log in, you will actually start accruing these points. And it's really that simple. You just let it run in the background on your computer. One thing that I'll note is that I know some people probably have some concerns about installing new softwares on their computer. Although in all of my research, I haven't found any reports of people having issues with grass just at an abundance of caution i did install it on an old laptop not on my main laptop that i use for most of my work and if you want to learn more about the crypto markets and how to make money in crypto be sure to check out my newsletter at dynamodefi.substack.com link down in the description here i go through the latest trends in crypto each week on-chain analysis tools to help you with your crypto research and more and for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.